Charm City Live is back and joining us this morning is Lindsay Jackson to tell us all about this year's event. Lindsay, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Yes. Good morning. So we're counting down to Charm City Live. Tell us about all the things we can sort of look forward to. Yes, Charm City Live is this Saturday uh, at War Memorial Plaza. Uh, this is the third year. Uh, the first year we had headliners like Joe and Stokely. Last year we moved the festival to Pratt Street, mm -hmm. which was uh, a very successful festival with the headliner of Ari Lennox. Right. And then this Saturday we have two co-headliners, Monica and Redman and Method Man. Mm -hmm. Wow. So wow. we're looking forward to being at the plaza this weekend. Um, from 12 to 9 is the festival hours. We have a ton of food vendors. Uh, we're doing an on-site job fair with all of the city agencies. Oh, wow. So folks can come down and see what uh, job, uh, job opportunities the city have to offer and looking to have a great time. And we don't have to wait though until Saturday. There's some fun stuff happening this week as we gear up to the main event. Yes, that's right. Uh, please go to charmcitylive.baltimorecity.gov where you'll see the list of all of our pop-ups. One thing about this festival is the mayor wanted to make sure that we kind of uh, jump-started our central downtown district. Uh, so this festival was always made to bring people down and have people go to businesses. Mm -hmm. So this week, uh, starting today, we'll be at different happy hour locations throughout the week. So we're asking folks to come on out and enjoy it. So cool. And Charm City Live is so much more than just um, the music. I mean, last year we got to hang out. There were vendors there bring, bringing us, what do we have? Like cream of crab All soup. All kinds of and, good <laughs> A lot of stuff. Yes. Oh my goodness. So, I mean, it's, it's just a real introduction. Vendors will be there for people to buy. Yep, vendors will be there for people to buy. Um, and I think we, as of last night, we had about 18 food trucks, oh, about wow. 21 uh, stationary and merchandise vendors. Uh, so it's going to be a great time. It's really going to be a great time. And we call this the finale of the Triple Crown in Baltimore. Mm. So we started with Afram. <laughs> oh, yeah. We went to Artscape, and now Ooh. we're in and out the summer Triple with Charm Crown. City Live. Okay, that's love a pretty, it. That's a great way to look at <laughs> it. That's the perfect wrap to the season. I love that. And one more time, the website, just so people can get all the information. Yep, charmcitylive.baltimorecity.gov. Okay, did we leave anything out, Lindsay, that you want to get in? Come out, <laughs> please come early. Uh, and one thing that I will add, which is different than last year, is we are doing uh, security checkpoints. Okay. So go to the website to know before you go, so you know what will be allowed in the festival and what's not allowed. Uh, so it's no surprises when you yeah. get to the checkpoint. Good advice. Yes. And the hours one more time. Hour 12 to 9. 12 to 9. War Memorial. All day. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Thank Thanks you for, for joining having us. Yeah. Absolutely. Good luck with the festival. We'll, we'll work on the weather for you. Yes, <laughs> we, have, we have that handled. <laughs>